So I want to talk a little bit about jotting or annotating as you read. So like I said, this year in English, there are times when we're reading purely for enjoyment, and then there are many times when I want you to read with greater intention and with this mindset of becoming a more responsible and responsive reader, which anytime we read, we want to be responsible and responsive. However, when we're trying to work towards a goal and become a stronger reader with excellent comprehension and having just a good grasp of what it is we're reading, we do want to do some things that will help us become better. One of those things is to annotate or to jot. And you're already coming from elementary school with a lot of skills around jotting. And some of you love to jot and some of you hate it. I get it. There are times when I want to jot and there are times when I don't. And most of the time when I'm jotting, it's because I'm either working on a goal in some way of becoming a better reader. And I know that that's something I can do and study what my thinking is throughout a book that, I can, that can help me achieve a goal that I'm working towards. Or it's because I'm in a book club and I wanna be able to hold on to some important thinking to share with my, with my club when we meet. So there's a couple of reasons why I would annotate. Um, and a big one is just because I really want to make sure I hold on to the thinking and I can look back and notice patterns and what my thinking was like and how my thinking changed through the book um, and that I can, I can really relive my reading experience and the story experience when I look back across those notes. So I do want you to bring everything that you already know about jotting to this unit and I wanna teach you some other strategies that you might use. My expectation is that you have four jots per day. Um, those jots could be on post-its. I'm, I'm a big fan of post-its, so um, they certainly could be on post-its. However, you could also create a Padlet for your book, and as long as you're recording your thoughts on each note on Padlet and also the page number where you stopped and had that jot, that, that could be a good tool to use. Um, maybe you want to jot in your reading notebook. That's fine too. Uh, either on post-its or, or just on the paper itself, right? That's fine. You need a strategy that works for you. What works for me is actually jotting on post-its and putting them right in the book. That's fine. Um, however, that may not work for all of you, so you need to decide what's going to work best. In this Nearpod, I'm gonna give you some new strategies, like I said. Um, my friend Kyleen Beers has some strategies called, strategies called signposts. And these are moments when it would be a good time to stop and do some, some jotting work and some thinking work. And I'll go through each one of those in the Nearpod. Um, another simple way to start though is right in the front cover. So here's locomotion. Right in the front cover, I tend to stick one post-it that says MC, which is main character, and I write the main character's name, Lonnie, once I know what, right? And then I have another section up here, supporting characters, and I start listing those characters as we go through. And things that I note on here are kind of like main characteristics of the main character, and then with the supporting characters, what is their relationship to the main character? So that's a quick way to start keeping track of the characters as you're reading the book. And it's um, a simple thing to do is just to turn back to the cover when you find something interesting out that you'd want to, to remember. So again, my expectation is that it's gonna be four jots per day as you read. You can use some strategies you already know. And then also I want to add to your, your toolbox with the signpost and you'll keep going through this Nearpod to learn more about those. All right, I think you should be about ready to dive in to your book and the format that you're studying. So enjoy, I can't wait to talk to you about your reading and see you um, grow as readers and become more responsible and responsive readers.